Is India, with its $3 billion investment, capable of catching up to China in the space race? Welcome to our exploration of India's grand space plans. Let's set the stage. The cosmos, once a realm of mystery, has become a field of competition, a race for supremacy among nations. At the forefront of this race are two Asian giants, India and China. The stakes are high, the rewards limitless. Recently India announced a significant $3 billion investment in space-related contract awards, a move that underscores its ambitions to enhance its space capabilities. This decision is driven by a desire to lessen dependence on foreign satellites and to bolster counter-space capabilities, particularly in light of rising tensions with China. But China is no slouch when it comes to space. They operate a significantly larger number of military satellites and are making strides in fields like reusable spacecraft, counter-space technology and quantum-enabled communications. So the question that arises is, can India, with its new investment, truly compete with China's existing space prowess? We'll delve deeper into India's space plans and see how they stack up against China's current capabilities. India's ambitious space plans commence with a hefty $3 billion investment. But where does this funding go? And what are its objectives? India, a nation known for its vibrant culture and rich history, is now setting its sights on the stars with a robust investment into the final frontier. This investment, amounting to $3 billion, is a clear indication of India's determination to enhance its space capabilities and decrease its reliance on foreign satellites. But what is the significance of this hefty investment? Well, it's all about bolstering counter space capabilities. Amid escalating tensions with China, particularly in the border region of Ladakh, India's space plans are driven by the need to enhance its space situational awareness and safeguard its assets. This means the country is focused on developing technologies that will allow it to counter any potential threats to its space assets. Furthermore, India's space plans emphasize the importance of indigenous satellite constellations for intelligence and surveillance. By investing in these constellations, India aims to reduce its dependence on foreign systems. This self-reliance is a cornerstone of India's space strategy, reflecting its commitment to maintaining national security and ensuring that it has the technological capabilities to monitor and respond to any situation. Another key aspect of India's space plans is the development of launch on-demand capabilities. This means that India wants to be able to launch satellites into space whenever there is a need, without having to rely on other countries or international organizations. Such capabilities would greatly enhance India's flexibility and responsiveness in the rapidly evolving space arena. With such ambitious plans, India is clearly gearing up for a competitive space race. This is more than just a race for technological advancement, it's a race for security, independence and the nation's place among the stars. As we continue to explore the cosmos, we must also keep our feet firmly on the ground understanding the geopolitical implications of our space ventures. And in this race, every nation, including India, is striving to secure its position. On the other side of the race we have China, a formidable opponent with advanced space capabilities. China's dominance in space is unquestionable. The country operates an extensive network of military satellites, dwarfing many of its global competitors. These satellites provide China with a significant advantage in terms of intelligence and surveillance capabilities. But it's not just about the sheer number of satellites. The technology behind these satellites is also state-of-the-art, offering capabilities that many nations can only dream of. One of the key areas where China has made considerable strides is in the field of reusable spacecraft. These are spacecraft that can be launched, landed, and then launched again, offering significant cost savings and operational flexibility. This technology is still in its infancy globally, but China is already reaping the benefits. Then there's counter space technology. This is the ability to disrupt or destroy an opponent's satellites, thereby denying them the use of space. China has been actively developing this technology and has even demonstrated anti-satellite capabilities through tests and the development of ground-based lasers and satellite killer satellites. This is a clear sign of China's intention to protect its assets in space and to deny others the use of space if necessary. And we can't forget about quantum-enabled communications. This is a game-changer in the realm of secure communications. China has already launched a satellite capable of quantum communications, placing it at the forefront of this cutting-edge technology. 
In charge of all these operations is China's Strategic Support Force. This organization oversees the People's Liberation Army space operations and is actively developing counter space capabilities. This includes direct ascent technology, co-orbital systems, electronic warfare, cyber attacks, and directed energy weapons. In summary, China's space capabilities are robust, advanced, and comprehensive. They span from the ground to the stars, encompassing everything from advanced satellites to cutting-edge communications technology. China's robust space capabilities present a challenging landscape for India to navigate. India's journey to space supremacy is not without its hurdles. Let's take a look at the challenges that lie ahead. The road to space dominance is steep, and India's path is lined with a series of substantial obstacles. A primary challenge is the development of advanced technology. India's space aspirations demand a level of technological sophistication that rivals global superpowers. This includes not just the ability to launch and maintain satellites, but also to develop reusable spacecraft and quantum-enabled communications. In order to wean off dependence on foreign systems, the development of indigenous capabilities is crucial. This requires a significant investment of time, resources and manpower. It also necessitates a long-term commitment to nurturing talent in the fields of science and technology. The enhancement of India's space situational awareness and counter space capabilities are key to safeguarding its assets. The evolving dynamics of space warfare present another hurdle. As we've seen, China has been actively developing counter space capabilities, including direct ascent technology, co-orbital systems, electronic warfare, cyber attacks and directed energy weapons. To keep pace with these advancements, India will need to invest heavily in research and development, as well as in the training of its armed forces. Moreover, India's geographical proximity to China, especially the tensions in the border region of Ladakh, further complicates matters. This underlines the necessity for India to strengthen its space defense capabilities to ensure its sovereignty is well protected. The financial aspect cannot be understated either. India's plan to invest $3 billion in space-related contract awards is a significant step, but catching up to China's space program, which operates a significantly larger number of military satellites, will require sustained and substantial financial commitment. These challenges, while substantial, are not insurmountable for a nation as determined as India. As we move further into the 21st century, the race to space is heating up, and the world will be watching closely as India navigates these challenges in its quest for space supremacy. With all this information at hand, we return to our initial question. Can India catch up to China in the space race? India's space plans are ambitious, and the country's commitment is palpable. A $3 billion investment is set to be channeled into space-related contract awards, a move driven by the need to bolster India's counter-space capabilities. This is an important step as it aims to reduce reliance on foreign satellites, particularly at a time of rising tensions in the border region of Ladakh. However, China's current capabilities are formidable. They operate a significantly larger number of military satellites and are making strides in areas such as reusable spacecraft, counter space technology, and quantum-enabled communications. The Strategic Support Force of China is actively developing counter space capabilities, including direct ascent technology, co-orbital systems, electronic warfare, cyber attacks, and directed energy weapons. The challenges for India are significant. The country is up against a space power that has demonstrated anti-satellite capabilities through tests and the development of ground-based lasers and satellite killer satellites. The evolving dynamics of space underscore the importance of India's efforts to enhance its space capabilities. But let's not forget that India is not new to the space race. The country has already made remarkable achievements, such as the successful Mars Orbiter mission. India's space agency, ISRO, has proven its capabilities time and again, and with the government's renewed focus and substantial investment, it's gearing up to make even bigger leaps. The potential for India to catch up is there. It may not be an immediate catch up, but with determination, substantial investment, and the will to reduce dependence on foreign systems, India is poised to make significant strides. It's a race, and in a race the outcome is determined not just by speed but also by strategy, persistence, and sometimes a bit of luck. While the race is tough, India's ambitious plans and substantial investment mark a promising start. We've traversed India's grand space plans, explored China's dominance, 
and analyze the challenges India faces. We've seen how India plans to invest a staggering $3 billion to bolster its space prowess, reducing its reliance on foreign satellites and increasing its indigenous capabilities. This ambitious move is not just about strengthening India's space situational awareness, but also about developing counter space capabilities to protect its assets. On the flip side, we've unearthed China's formidable space dominance. With a significant number of military satellites in operation and advancements in reusable spacecraft, counter space technology and quantum enabled communications, China's space prowess is undeniably impressive. India's journey is not without challenges. The task of catching up with a space powerhouse like China is formidable. But as we've seen, India is not backing down. The nation's ambitious plans and steadfast determination are clear indicators of its resolve to make a mark in the space domain. Only time will reveal the outcome of this exciting space race. If you found our exploration intriguing, remember to comment, like and subscribe for more fascinating discussions.